everyone, this is Susie Q, Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I have Katie Lynn with me, and Katie Lynn is the Yannick Sculpt by Natalie Blick, and um, she is Maggie May's little sister. And um, so I'm, today I'm going to be doing a chat with you, and um, it's all about pets. And uh, But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put Katie Lynn down right here and show you what I'm going to be changing her into. Now in my past video I talked about um, uh, theme days. Um, it was a tag by D of uh, Moon, Moon Button Nurseries and she was talking about she had uh, about four different questions about themes. One of the questions um, was you know do I or do you um, you know, each day do you dress your babies according to each day's theme? And my answer was no, <laughs> um, because uh, basically I have a hard time just trying to, uh, you know, make it make it on time for theme Thursday. So I kind of thought, you know, I had kind of had a laugh about that. But, you know, today's Sunday and um, I wanted to dress little Katie Lynn into Sunday best. Uh, so yes, I am going to be participating in another theme other than theme Thursday today. So let me show you what she's going to be wearing. This is an outfit that she came with um, in her box opening. I got her on, let's see, well she was born on um, October 30th of last year. And I got her about three or four days later. But um, this is one of the outfits that came with her. Um, that Emma Bennett sent and it's just gorgeous and I looked in the closet today and I found this and I really wanted to put it on her and it came with these little leggings which has the, the same uh, lacy pattern on it with little bows so um, I'm really excited to get her back into this um, she hasn't worn it in a long time and what I'm going to pair it up with or, uh, well, I should show you what I'm putting underneath. Underneath is going to be this um, this plain uh, pink little onesie. And then um, her shoes are going to be these pretty uh, iridescent pink. Uh, they have, you know, the trim on the straps and then the real pretty silver sparkly um, on the um, on the rest of the shoe. And I, she's got, and on the, you know, the top part of the dress, she's got this really pretty crystal right here. And, um, and I thought these shoes would go perfectly because they're also the very same color of the top. And then, uh, to go along with the sparkly theme, uh, I'm going to be putting these, um, rhinestone earrings in her ears. She does have pierced ears. And then I'm going to be putting these pretty silver, um, oops, let me turn this one around, these pretty silver sparkly bows in her hair. So she is uh, going to be all dressed up for um, Sunday best today. The socks that I'm going to be putting on her are these. And they're kind of like a light pink with a real pretty lace around the edging. So anyway, I'm really excited to get her all dressed up in this cute little Sunday best outfit. So let's go ahead and get started. And so, yeah, um, like I said, I um, I wanted to talk about pets today because pets do and have always played um, a very special role in my life, uh, you know, ever since I was a child. And I know that they also play a very special role in the lives of others. So... Um, to tell you my story about that, <clears throat> I grew up with having pets. Uh, my mom was an animal lover, and um, she raised us to love animals and pets. And um, she didn't really have pets herself. Um, at one point, she did have a beautiful um, Siamese cat named Smokey, a, a male cat named Smokey. Really pretty cat. Um, I don't remember us having that that cat for very long. I don't know whatever happened to it. Uh, I was kind of too young to know. But um, 
<clears throat> anyway, that was the only pet that I remember her having. Um, because mostly she just had fun with our pets. So um, another thing that I remember about, you know, pets and animals is that um, she she loved to read. Um, I think I got that trait from her. She passed that down to me. Um, and she had a lot of um, animal and nature books in her library. And the, I always remember going to, you know, going to the bookshelf and, you know, choosing. There's this, she had two um, nature books in particular that had wild animals in them, uh, which I love to read. Um, I didn't really, you know, at that time I was kind of too young to read, but I loved to, to see the different pictures of the wild animals, you know, like it was lions and tigers and giraffes and gorillas and things like that. And um, I love, I love just to browse through those books and um, I, I can still picture them to this day you know, what the, what the pictures look like. But anyway, um, uh, and on that, along those lines, my favorite wild animal is the, um, the monkeys, the monkeys and the gorillas and, you know, all those, um, you know, every, every, um, ah, gosh, I should have looked this up, but I know that there's a name for this group of animals. Um, but anyway, my favorite, um, is the, the gorilla because he is just a huge, amazing animal and uh, so intelligent. And you know, uh, chimpanzees are too. But I wanted to show you, uh, some of my new subscribers may not have met Daisy May. Um, this is Daisy May and she's an orangutan and she was made by um, uh, Ashton Drake. And I've done, uh, I've had her on my channel a couple of times. Um, she's a breathing, she has a breathing mechanism and it's really fun to um, watch her little tummy go up and down when she breathes. Uh, I won't demonstrate that today because I don't want my video to be super, super long. Um, but anyway, um, I got this orangutan because of the fact that I really love the, uh, the monkey species um, in the animal kingdom. And so she's a, she's just a cutie patootie. I love this one. And uh, she, she wears a size preemie. This is um, this is a preemie dress and little bloomers that I got for her from um, Prim, uh, baby baby Prem. So I keep her in this most of the time because I it's a cute outfit. But anyway, um, I wanted to show um, her as one of my uh, she's one of my nursery pets. So let's see. Um, I wanted to talk to you about um, my pets uh, growing up as a child. My very first pet as a child was a guinea pig. Uh, he was a male guinea pig, and his name was Squeaky. And I named him Squeaky. <laughs> Isn't that original? And um, I played with him every day. Let's see, I'm thinking that I was probably about... My, my age was probably uh, a kindergarten or maybe first grade, I'm, I'm guessing. And, um, but I played with him every day. I treasured him. He was super, super uh, gentle, uh, very tame guinea pig. And um, so, but anyway, one day my mom made me um, a cradle out of a, a, Quaker, a Quaker Oats uh, carton. And as you know, uh, you know, it's the type of round tube uh, type of uh, carton that oatmeal comes in. And so she had made me a carton. Uh, I mean, um, what am I saying? She had made me a cradle. And, you know, by cutting out a portion of the, of the carton and, uh, you know, shaping it like a cradle and all that stuff. But anyway, some of you uh, that are about my age may remember uh, doing that. Uh, so, but anyway, I, I, um, what I ended up doing with the cradle, she, she had actually made it for my baby dolls, but um, I decided that I wanted to uh, put Squeaky in it one day. And so I was outside playing one day and um, I remember specifically, uh, I, I remember this just so vividly in my mind. I um I had the cradle on the patio, and I put 
Squeaky in the cradle. And he was, you know, he he liked it in the cradle. He was comfortable, cozy. I put, um, you know, I, I tucked blankets in there and made him all comfortable like a little girl would do with her baby doll, you know. And anyway, um, he, you know, he decided, you know, after having a bit of time in there, he decided that he wanted to, to crawl out of the cradle, which was easy to do because, you know, the sides were so short. Anyhow, um, so he, he, I happened to look over and to see him, you know, making his way out of the cradle and just out of, I didn't even think he was going to do this, but I just did it to, to, to play just to have fun. And I looked over at him and I pointed my finger and I said, squeaky, get back in your cradle. You know, not even expecting anything to happen, but do you know, and, and this is the honest truth that that guinea pig turned around <laughs> and walked back over to that cradle and got in. Are you kidding me? I, it was, it, it stunned me. And, um, I don't, I, I don't ever remember that ever happening again. I don't know if it was just a coincidence or if he was really, you know, if he really minded me, I don't know, but, um, it was thrilling. And so I, I have a really, really, um, special memory of, of Squeaky doing that. Mm, but anyway, um, we have, uh, my, my siblings and I have a, we have good memories of, um, our guinea pigs. My sister had a female guinea pig that she named Lucky. And, um, of course, eventually Squeaky and Lucky, um, like I said, Squeaky was a male and they eventually got together. And I think my mom has something to do with this. Um, but like I said, I was, I was really young and I don't remember anything going on behind the scenes, but anyway, Squeaky and Lucky got together and, um, Lucky got pregnant and she had babies. And we ended up with a whole family of guinea pigs. I think we had at least, at least five guinea pigs from that litter, little babies. And so at that time, um, I have a, a one other sister that's older than me, and I have two younger brothers. And so um, then my, uh, my brothers got to each have a guinea pig, and then my mom, um, I think she just took care of the rest of them. But... So we had a really fun time with all of our guinea pigs, and we all made up creative names for them. Uh, my mom was very creative with names, and I think that's something else that I got from her, because I love naming things, and um, she always named things. Everything that we had, every pet that we had, everything had a name. So anyway, um, one of the names that my brother, my one brother's... Um, guinea pig, his name, he named his Igert. <laughs> and I don't know if you all remember that name or not. Uh, from the olden days, olden days meaning back in the uh, 60s maybe, um, but it was a name that my mom came up with, Igert. Uh, and then she also came up with another name for my, uh, my other brother's guinea pig, which was Jumpin' Jehoshaphat. And so, um, you know, those are very creative names, very funny, is fun to say, and uh, so, but, and, and then there was another guinea pig that it had like five, five names, five silly names. Each name was silly, and I think it, it ended with uh, banana tail or something like that, which was silly because, you know, guinea pigs don't even have tails, let alone it looking like a banana tail, but, uh, anyway, she, my mom had, was, she just had a very creative, imaginative, fun mind. Uh, so that was, I mean, these are just really fun memories. So, um, anyway, so going, getting past the guinea pig, um, um, litter that we had and the guinea pig pets that we had, uh, as a child, I also had, uh, I went on to have a parakeet, um, a kitten. I had uh, two rabbits at, at different times. Um, let's see, what else? I had uh, a hamster. I had another guinea pig because um, uh, 
we we actually had uh, squeaky squeaky and lucky pig for so long at least five years that they ended up passing away and so I ended so I ended up getting another uh, guinea pig that was a long hair guinea pig um, that was a calico and I and I named him uh, multi pig <laughs> creative right <laughs> multi pig because in the multi colors but anyway. Um, so that was all my pets that I've had as a uh, as growing up as a child, and then as an adult, I've had um, at different times in my life, I have had five cats. Um, I had a uh, cocker spaniel. He, it was an American cocker spaniel dog named that I named Buster. I had um, a Pekingese dog. Now the, this is all at separate times. I had a. Uh, Pekingese dogs um, named Joey and then of course I had my Shih Tzu um, that recently passed uh, two years ago her name um, is Molly uh, so I've had a lot of, of uh, really wonderful pets in my past but right now um, I'm down to having um, let's see I have two sister cats that are they're eight years old, and um, they're named Bella and Ginger. I have a rabbit that is two years old, and his name is Benji. And then I have a box turtle named Toby uh, that I've had uh, for about 18 years now. So, um, so yeah, I've uh, you know I've I've had a rich, very rich life full of um, wonderful pets. And another thing that I was going to mention is uh, I always have fun when I'm watching other um, Dolly Friends videos and, and one of their pets just happens to, you know, walk into the the, the uh, video frame and um, it's just really fun to see everybody else's pets. And some, some Dolly Friends even actually bring their pets on, you know, purposely, which I really, really enjoy. So, um, anyways, uh, it, you know... It's always fun when I'm um, to have pets, and uh, I've always have loved having pets in my life. I believe that that um, takes care of the nurturing characteristic that I have, and uh, you know, I've always loved you know animals and babies and stuff because of that. So um, anyway, that's why I get so much joy out of uh, collecting these realistic baby dolls and dressing them and, you know, doing their hair and, and such things because um, it just takes care of that nurturing part of me. So uh, I hope I haven't talked too much here. I'm trying to, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get little uh, Katie Lynn's hair all done up in her little bunches and her, her little bunches slash ponytails. And then I'm also going to put her shoes on and get her earrings on. So let's see. I have everything over here. I'm going to go ahead and take her rubber band out. So I hope that you've enjoyed, um, you know, listening uh, to me about my pets. And, um, <clears throat> and uh, I was just going to say, if you could let me know if you're also a person that enjoys having pets or if you've had pets in your past um, you know what was your favorite pet if if you enjoy having pets um, you know what what was your favorite pet what was your pet's name how long did you have your pet um, I'm, I would be re I would really be interested in hearing that I'm always interested in hearing about my dolly friends um, you know their lives and what they what they're up to and stuff in their life I know that I like sharing my life and um, getting wonderful comments from everyone afterwards <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and put these little pretty little bows in here and I'm sorry if I can't I I need to keep the camera adjusted up uh, there we go boy these are pretty all this bling today Little, little little baby Katie Lynn has a lot of bling today. So let's go ahead and take her earrings out. Right now, these earrings would work. 
No, they're about the same color as her little top, but um, I wanted her to be blingy today. So I'm going to go ahead and put these crystals in there. Oops. And uh, yeah, she's got, she's got uh, pierced ears like her sister Maggie Mae. I love pierced ears on toddlers like this. Okay, I'm going to put her shoes on. Let's see, she's got such curly little feet. <laughs> Let me put the camera down for just a moment here. Mm -hmm. Put her cute little socks on. She's just full of lace and bows and she's just fan fancy schmancy today. Yes, she is. It's kind of fun to do a best dressed um, Sunday. I might just do this more often, but I'm not going to make any promises because, um, you know, there's days that there's, I'll, I'll wake up and I'll go, oh, I'm going to do a video today and then something happens and I can't do it. And that's what happens to my theme Thursday days. I'm a, I really mean well to try to have theme Thursdays, but, uh, I'm, I'm usually late, but I think the past couple of weeks I've been on time, if, if I've remembered correctly. So, anyways, let's get this little shoe on. And these are Velcro straps, so they're very easy to put on. And I'm liking this outfit on little Katie Lynn. Yes, I am. Let's see. I want to put the strap underneath the lace so the lace can be on top. So yeah, there we go. She's such a cute little girl. Yes, she is. And her hair is gorgeous. She's got human hair. And she's got human rooted eyelashes too. The same um, kind of hair that's on her head. Okay, there she is. Aw, she's so sweet. I love this little girl. Yes, I do. I love her sister, Maggie Mae, too. Okay, everyone. Um, thank you for visiting today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a wonderful rest of your day today. Um, take care, and until we meet again, bye-bye.